Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2. When we last left off, we managed to get to the final segment of the game. And fingers crossed, there are just six endings left to find, and they shouldn't be too hard, I say, optimistically. Anyway, let's go talk to our mysterious Sharon friend. This time now we're not playing as uh, bait. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Who are you? I am Shannon. Uh, a ghost? How fortunate for you to come here. So... You did come here to die, didn't you? I can help you with that. Is she just going to kill us again? Huh? Off with you then. Run away. Guess not. So that I may have a bit of fun with you. So who the fuck is she then? Okay. We could really use a medikit. Hmm. It doesn't work. Okay, so now we've got to um put the amulet on the bookshelf. Right, so let's get rid of that. We've got to go to corridor five. I don't know what the hell Coral 5 is. Or even where Coral 5. So it's through the lab, apparently. Man, the, the map for this place is mental. Oh shit, we've got zombies. Um, let's kill this zombie. Let's go lead him back. Uh, this way and hit him with our never ending supply of these yeah that'll do nicely lovely just what the doctor ordered right you smack him over the skull with that and continue I don't know if there's anything in here this lab to search it'd be nice if we can find some um, medicates now I know health isn't that important in this game because you can just always get it back but I still kind of like having the stuff what the hell is all this shit hanging up around here arm oh it looks like it's still alive hmm yum Let's not touch that too closely now. Now, please, 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 medicate. I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Didn't really want a medicate anyway. Oh, <laughs> asking you'll receive. Cool. Apparently, that's completely healed us. I didn't realize medicates completely. Rotten. Hilda from scratch. That's quite nice. Right, so let's save it. Now we're on full health. Um, yeah, save it here. Why not? So they're hanging like loads of meat up around here. I don't know why. Oh, how disgusting. I feel sick just looking at it. Yeah, well, how about you don't look at it then? Don't touch it. Don't lick it. Don't do anything with it. We're just going to continue onwards. So when we get to... Corridor 5. Ah. Oh, it's Corey. Hello. Yeah, this is some kind of place, isn't it? Creature well. that bleeds yellow blood. Hatchet wielding killer. You better get out of here quick. Corey's loving it. My uncle. But my uncle. Mr. Philip Tate? No one's found him. Yeah, if he's human, this ought to take care of him. You mean... My uncle... I mean that if he's alive, then he's probably the guy who did it. I don't know. Let's not jump to crazy conclusions. Now we have to enter the shower. Which apparently is this room here. Is there anything in like these? I don't even know why I'm searching these, to be honest, but... Don't mind me, Corey. I'm just checking lockers. You know, you know how it is. No stone unturned and all that. So let's go in through here. So, in the shower. What could possibly happen in the shower? Oh, hello. Uh, 
Is that where we want to be? It doesn't look like where we want to be. Alright, let's lure her back to the room of Squish. Now, it hasn't mentioned us changing. Oh, bugger. Hang on. Shit. We were supposed to change into our other personality before talking to him. Um... Right, that's problematic. Possibly. Let's go see if we can reload. Yeah, we need to do that apparently. God damn it. And obviously, we can't load the game whilst we're running around as Alyssa. I always hate the way it says that, like, change into your other personality. It's like, yeah, you can't just change into your other personality whenever you feel like it. So if I load the game... Load it there. Now, had we spoken... Where was this? No, so we hadn't spoken to him yet. Right, let's turn the light on. This is good. At least I think this is good. Yeah, we don't have the amulet either. There was a medikit on this table, I think. Which is pretty nice. It's sure, was there not a medikit somewhere? Give me the medikit! I need it! There we go. Nice. So yeah, that completely heals us, which is pretty cool, actually. Alright. Now I know... No, don't turn the fucking light off. There we go. Alright. I'm hoping this is actually, like, this is essential. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Alright, so let's go to this. Because there was a zombie in here. I left him in there on purpose. Because obviously, I thought he might come in handy. Alright, get the fuck off me. Boom! There we go. Okay. We'll get rid of this guy with our shotgun. Let's come stand over here. Now the trouble is, if we misclick, we're going to be screwed. Come on, you bastard. Got the Mossberg ready for ya. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, the shotgun is actually like a much better weapon than the pistol. As you'd imagine it would be, to be honest. You'd imagine it being much better. Okay. So now we can talk to him. Let's save it. Ugh. Save scumming through the ass here, but... See, we're at a pivotal point now, because if we, with that save, we can be either bait or we can easily change back to you. So that's not a bad point to save it, I guess. Yeah, this is some kind of place, isn't it? Creature that bleeds yellow blood, hatchet-wielding killer. You'd better get out of here quick. Stay out of this. I don't remember you telling me what to do. Okay. And you might be? Oh, he just says we care. I suggest you be the one to get the hell out of here. Like... <sighs> Bait just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't know, he's just... It's so poorly translated. Which, again, is like kind of common for the time, but... It's just odd. Right, uh... Use the shotgun on this biatch. Now, if we run out of shells, there is somewhere we can go to get more. See, I don't know why, like, some of them are in green and some of them are highlighted in 
uh, read some of the targets. I don't know what that means, if anything. So now we're in here. Okay. This map just makes all kinds of no sense. So I'm assuming that's it. Oh, oh no, this. I think this is a shower room. They look like showers, possibly. Okay. Okay, we can actually do something in here then. Shit, it's locked. I need something long and thin. Okay, so we need something long and thin. So... Inspect the locker. So now we need to go back to lab three. Okay, so lab three is... Back the way we came. Ugh, lots of back and forth, eh? This is gameplay at its finest, me laddos and ladies. Absolute masterwork in how to pad a game out. Right, this... Right, apparently there should be something in here now that we need. You found a pistol. Okay, well, that's not quite what we needed. But, I mean... It's something. Apparently there's something in here that we can use. Oh. Is there like unlimited F8 sprays there or something? F8 sprays. I'm even talking about it like it's... Wire. Oh. Okay. So we now have something long and thin. So, yay. So there's a pistol in that room. That's good to know if we need to continue being... Bates, and that was the shower. Very convoluted. Apparently you can't find that wire unless you know you need it, which... Okay. Moon logic. Was it zombie logic? I don't know. What an odd-looking key. Hmm. Yeah, what is that? Security key. Okay. Well, that's something, I suppose. Okay, so we've got the security key. Okay, so we have to go to Office 2 now. Which... was quite far back. Because of course it would be, wouldn't it? So we don't have to go into that room yet. For reasons. And I don't know why our health is blue. Notice that. Like, is blue higher? Uh, higher health than white? I don't know. Now do we get... Okay, so we don't need to get our amulet just yet. We're actually close to another ending. Actually very close, really. We're over halfway through this chapter now. Or nearly halfway through the chapter, I should say. Okay, so Office 2 was... Back this way, I think. Yeah, they're the two toilets. Hang on. So if we're in this corridor here... We should be in corridor three. As is my understanding. So in theory, we should be able to go through there. And then that should take us to corridor two. Oh, hello. Uh, fuck. Kind of didn't want that to happen. All right, we're going to have to kill that zombie. Really didn't want to 
have that happen. Fuck. So at least, at least we've got plenty of shot and shells. And by plenty, I mean we have two. So profit. And it does actually proper kill the zombies as well. So I suppose ugh, we do know where there is a handgun. Although the handguns are just crap. Unfortunately. Okay, so here we've gone through that door there. So... Office 2 is this one. I think. It definitely looks like an office. Nope, that's to go back outside. We don't want to go back outside yet. We want to turn the light on. Boop. Cool. Now, is there anything else to find in here? Apart from that. An anti-crime device. I bet I can disarm it. An anti-crime device. I'm guessing they mean an alarm? Maybe? Right. So now we have turned off the anti-crime device. Can we actually fiddle with anything in here? Found a shotgun, but left it where it is. So, good to know. I might actually start writing on this map. So, Office 2's got a shotgun in it. Lab 3's got a pistol. We need to go back to Office 3. And apparently on Office 3, we can get another ending. Uh, quickest way through Office 3 is probably this way. Yeah, there's a woman in there that we can't talk to yet. Because, oh well, the nurse woman we could talk to and get a shotgun, which would be really nice. It's annoying that you can't just get more ammo for your shotgun. I think that would have like made a lot of sense. But this game doesn't like to make sense. So definitely now, before I pick this up, what do we need to trigger the ending? Uh, ah, hang on, missed a step here. But to get the E ending, Okay. Right. Okay, so this sets us onto a course. So we need to go back to the courtyard. So this in itself sets us on a path for the other ending. Oh. Hello. Sounds like we have our axe-wielding friend come to say hi. We've got one shotgun shell. I don't know if one shotgun shell. Yeah, because apparently there's a key in here. But I guess we just can't look at it because this dickhead's after us. Come to Papa. Make my day, you prick. Uh, well then, that didn't quite go down the way I was hoping, not going to lie, so how fuck do we get away from him? Uh, we know there's another shotgun in here, but I'm guessing we can't actually pick it up. Or can we? Right, so you can pick up weapons. 
as um, bait when you're in this panic mode. That's good to know. Come on, you prick. So two shotgun shells is needed to get rid of him. Okay, good to know. Now let's go back into the courtyard. Because there should be a key here. Now this is where we died before, if you remember. So we found a key. A desk key. Okay, now. Uh, okay. It's kind of curious. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. This guide isn't as useful as you'd think. 21, okay. Um, right, cool. So now, we've got to go back. Got to go back to lab four. That's easy enough. So that's back here. So I don't know if Matey Boy just randomly turns up. Or if he's triggered by like progress in the game. I'm still not sure about that. I'm hoping. Ah, okay. I'm hoping. Ah, I wonder. Is there going to be another health kit here? No way. There's like unlimited health kits here. Well, that's pretty cool I suppose there's also that gun in there as well right we need to go back through here like so and we can finally have a poke in this room hmm oh we've got zombies zambles hey zombie shut the Buck up, pal. Right. Now. Everything seems normal, does it now? You sure about that? Everything seems normal. Right here. Ah, there we go. Survival knife probably won't be of much help. Right, that's C, yes. That is what the difference is. Because we're playing as bait, we found a survival knife. If we were playing as Alyssa... Where is it? Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if we was playing Alyssa, that would be the storage key. So how do we now enact this ending? So, storage room three. So we can go up the elevator. Storage one. All right, now we got to go up to the elevator. We've got to go up to a new floor that we haven't been in yet. Can we examine that? No. Okay. Right. So let's go back. And we need to go, there's so much like back and forth, you know, I think like, can you imagine like trying to sit down and play this game? Like outright back in the day. I mean, talk about convoluted horseshit. 
Uh, okay. Now, I I used to actually really like um, point and click games. You know, point and click like Discworld and um, uh, what's the other big one that I used to like? Discworld. Ah, oh, I can't even think what it's called now. Broken Sword, that's it. And a few others. But they were always so good. They always had like so much personality. But this has no personality to it at all. This is just really bad. Ah, thought there might be one of you in here. Boom. So we come out on the top floor. So we need to go to the left. Yeah, so we need to, oops, we need to go this way. Now, I'm a, wait a minute, do we, I'm assuming we just came out of that door. Trouble is, this map now goes over to two pages. Uh, question mark? Okay, it was... Oh. Wait, what? Okay, that's not quite what's on this map, but... Uh... Oh. That actually looks to be where we need to be, because that looks like a roped up door. So that's lucky. And this should net us an ending. I think. I hope so. Uh, somewhere. Oh, hello. Who are you? Who's there? So this is where you've been. Voice. Bates? Have you come to kill me? Alyssa's father? <laughs> It's all your fault. All of it. Uh. My fault? Don't be foolish. The fact you even exist was a mistake. What? You're cursed. Cursed? And if I am? Uh, there is no point in you even existing. No point at all. <laughs> Charmed. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was dark. <laughs> Holy shit. Just straight out with the knife. Uh, <laughs> I quite like that. That was quite funny. This is the end. The end of what? Like. What? <sighs> cool. Sure. Another one down, guys. Another one down. Another one down. I have no idea what the hell Bates is going on about. This is the end. The end of what? The end of all things? The end of time? The end of Alyssa's dad? Are you now free from a curse? I don't know. Story, motherfucker. Do you have it? So we haven't got F yet. But that, hang on. We miss F, did we? Ah, uh, we haven't got to F yet. F's actually quite soon. Hmm. Alright, well, we're making progress, guys. Slow progress, but 
progress nonetheless. Um, I was thinking about just like playtesting this game for a little bit off camera, just um, to like learn this last chapter, but I'm not gonna lie, you can't be asked to be honest. And like, I don't enjoy this game enough to do that, so we're just gonna bash it out the old fashioned way with a guide. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.